So I was out and about in New York City. I had just finished all of my shoots for the day and I texted my friend Chase, who's a real estate agent in New York, and I asked him what he was up to and he said he was showing an apartment in Tribeca, 44 Late Street. I don't know if it's late or light. So he told me to come over and look at it because it turns out it's a $5 million apartment. And I sat here and I said, there's no way I can go see a $5 million apartment unless you are also coming to see said $5 million apartment. So I'm bringing you with me. We're going to check it out. Let's do it. For those of you who don't know New York City that well, Tribeca is a neighborhood on the lower part of Manhattan on the west side. It's actually called Tribeca and it's often spelled with the T, B, and C capitalized because it's an abbreviation for the triangle below Canal Street. And it's sort of a triangle, but it's actually more of a trapezoid. Today, Tribeca is mostly known for its quaint cobblestone streets, cute boutique shops, industrial buildings that have been converted into residences and lofts, and also for being home to artists, celebrities, and entrepreneurs. We made it into the luxury rental. I found Chase. How are you guys? This is Chase. So he's just the cutest button so I've ever met ever. And he works for Ryan Serhant, so he's kind of always out and about looking at million dollar sure. listings. No pun intended. And today he told me he would show me around this one. So where are we, Chase? 44 Late Street, apartment 1B. And somebody lives here right now? They do. And they're selling it. They are. As you guys will see, this place is just filled with art. So I'm a little confused how the owner is going to sell it. Are they selling all the art? So the art will not be included in the purchase price. Got it. Which is 5.75 million. <laughs> but it can be included in the price. If we raise the price. All right, so Chase is gonna take me on a little tour. So when you walk in, 60 foot wide living room. Whoa. When you first walk inside this three bedroom, two and a half bathroom condo, you're immediately struck by its size. The 58 foot long open concept living room and kitchen feel even bigger because of the 12 foot high lofted ceilings. And this has got to be one of the most creative and artistic spaces that I've ever been in. Inside, it's all wooden beams, exposed brick, ducts and pipes, and a total mixture of textures and styles from all different time periods. The apartment's 4,000 square feet. 12 foot ceilings throughout which is pretty mega and what I like to point out is these windows here so the truth is when you look out this window it's not like most New York City apartments where you just see another building I can now see probably like three layers of street until there's another building so now we so walk let's, straight let's into this. the kitchen let's check out the kitchen the kitchen has a massive island in the middle with four stools there's exposed brick and walls made of reclaimed wood open kitchen which is amazing for entertaining having your friends over for drinks mm -hmm. and just chilling kicking back. And a glass see-through so, fridge. So, you live here, you have to be super clean. Because <laughs> you'll see all of it. So this kitchen has one of those metallic things with the knives hanging on it. This is like an industrial sink as if you work in a restaurant. So everything you see, they built out. So they bought the space as raw space. And it took them four years to develop and build this which is amazing. Oh, I see pet food. They have two cats. So yeah, this kitchen looks almost like a restaurant kitchen because it just has all of the amenities that would be in a restaurant kitchen. So what's super cool here is they built up this platform that raises above the living space to kind of divide it. On a raised platform with metal grating sits the billiards room. It's a room solely dedicated to the game of pool. I was looking at the floor plan before and I noticed that there was a billiards room and I was like, what's a billiards? And then I realized it's a pool table, but you have to I've say, never it looks like this. a piece of art. It truly does. It's super chic. I love it. I can't play pool. Without it. I also love these floors. They're a little loud to walk on, but very industrial. And as you continue along a custom built catwalk, you'll find the media room. It's fully enclosed in glass, giving you a full view of the entire space. And I also found one of the owner's two cats lounging in here. We just got into this room and the rest of the audio of the whole world disappeared. Dead silent, which is what we love in New York. And what's cool is if you pan around, you see the rest of the apartments, you're kind of floating over your apartment. And now we're heading out of this all glass room. Which way you wanna go? You wanna go down these stairs? Yeah, down the second set of stairs. And now we're in like a faux living room area. An extension of your living room. Extension. There's so many seating areas, you have a choice, which is nice to have in New York. So what are these walls? Massive closets. Eight feet of closet space. Lots of stuff. 
So now we're going into the master bedroom. How many bedrooms are there here? There are three. The master bedroom has a giant walk-in closet that I sadly didn't get to see, but I did see a heated floor that spans the length of the room. To the left when you walk in are double sinks and an enclosed bathroom. And to the right is the bedroom where I found the other cat. Hey, Mango. The bedroom was amazing. There are so many details and interesting pieces. And to the right is the second half of the bathroom beneath a skylight. There's a two-person walk-in shower with a porthole to let in some fresh air. Whoa, what does so this do? This opens up and you can let a breeze in. Whoa! Oh my gosh, this is like a fashion so who show. Needs, who needs a blow dryer when you have that? It's amazing. Wow. That was so cool. And then this tub on the other side of the shower is pretty much the depth of the entire wall. It's just sort of tucked in there with a whole bunch of pictures lined up behind it so you can bathe while you look at the people you love. Exactly, and if you look up, you get to see blue sky. Whoa, sky. oh yeah, and there's a whole skylight here. Onto the second bedroom. It's a little boy's room at the moment, brilliantly decorated with so much life and color. and it's connected to the guest bedroom by a Jack and Jill bathroom. There's another beautiful shower in there, and of course, another tub. Wow, the shower has those pumps as if you're at a spa. The guest bedroom is another beauty and has some very cool art hanging directly over the bed. It's really cool, really interesting, says a lot. There are hidden gems all around this apartment. There's a punching bag, a wooden motorcycle, life-size Campbell soup cans, and a million and one skulls. The owner told me that skulls are good luck. Funny story, I'm in the apartment, I'm hanging out, and the owner, Jackie, comes in, and we start chatting, and she's telling me about her art collection, and as it turns out, her sister-in-law is my neighbor from the house I grew up in. Literally the house next door. We have and so Star much Jeff. to gossip Hi. about. <laughs> so this is Jackie. I'm Cassidy's aunt. <laughs> she is the sweetest woman and Thank this you. art collection belongs to her. Thank you. The owners are art collectors, obviously, and they also own an antique shop in New York City called Mantiques Modern. This loft is currently on the market for $5,750,000, but that number is always changing and buyers can choose to add in any of the art if they wanna keep it for themselves. There's a washer dryer, a garage parking space, pets are obviously allowed, and the list of amenities goes on and on. So overall, Chase, I'd say this place is very comfortable. I could definitely get down with this as my home. I'm just gonna need about $5 million. Yeah, so what would be the down payment on this if you were gonna buy it and maybe take out a mortgage? Down payment is about 20%. Still a lot. Can you talk about what it's like to be a real estate agent? Sure, let's see. It's enjoyable. As long as you like the people you work with, it's a lot of fun. Always running around. What is it like working with Ryan? Couldn't ask for a better mentor and leader, it's true. And what about the fact that you get to look at all these million dollar apartments every day? Do you kind of feel like you now want to live in something like this? What nice. I love is you get to see how other people live. So if I see a really cool stylistic idea, I'm gonna steal it and put it in my apartment. And I see how people live, so it's, it's really nice. Gives you inspo, gives you insight. Lots of inspo. I love it. Well, I'm inspired by being with you. I'm inspired oh, by being with come you. Here. I love it so much. <laughs> well, we will definitely be doing more of these tours because Chase is local to New York and I'm local to New York. So anytime I'm not doing anything, I'm just gonna contact him and ask him if I could take a tour of his cool spots. And I will keep showing them to you because what good is me seeing a $5 million apartment? I think apartment? maybe we put you to work next time and you actually show the apartment. That'd be great. Yeah, let me know if you guys want to see me trying to do Chase's job. If you sell it, you get the commission. What's commission? It depends on the property. This is a total of 6%. 6% of $5 million equals this much money. So I'll try to do that. Yeah, we'll put you up to the test. Great. Thanks, Chase. Any questions? You're good? I feel great. You ready to buy it? I'm ready. Let's make Perfect. the sale. Let's go. Woo! And we are out. What a shoot. What an apartment. I hope you thought it was as cool as I did in there. Comment below and let me know if you want me to work with Chase to show you some other luxury apartments in Manhattan. As I hear, he has a $50 million apartment that's currently on the market. And you did not mishear me. I said five zero million. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Love you.